I actually agree. I, I like the idea that obviously things like a monarchy are bad. As we all know, we don't. Most of us don't agree with a monarchy. We don't think we don't agree with the idea of inheritance being accepted sort of way of authority. We obviously most of us these days agree with democracy and voting and stuff like that. But I actually quite like. I think you can have one person in charge, and it'd be good. A lot of people always say you know power corrupts, and I agree completely. Agree, power does corrupt. But I also agree with the fact that if you can find that one guy who is enlightened, shall we say, like a lot of monarchs during, the, what was it, the 18th, 18th or 19th century, I think it was the 18th century maybe, they, ooh, your grace is grace, King Ada has taken his last breath, maybe pose in peace, ah. what happened here then, died of the bloody flux, and so his son, King Graydon, has now inherited the Iron Front, a very good marshal as well, interesting, very, very good general, and actually a great fighter, formidable fighter, and a brilliant commander, wow. His son his son's his son's done quite well. Who's your wife then? An iron maker? But yeah, a lot of people doing the uh, monarchs during the eighteenth and seventeenth century due to like philosophy and stuff, try to become enlightened rulers. And you know, so either they'd be like an absolute monarchy, but the rulers would rule in a certain way where they put their needs second and the nation's first. Now obviously that's hard to See, and a lot of rulers thought they were enlightened, but they actually weren't. But I agree that it is possible to have an absolute ruler if they're enlightened. I think it can work, and I think in a way that actually can work out better than some ways, and he's winning that war. That can actually work out better than some other ways, because if you have one person saying, okay, we're doing this, we're doing that, it means things actually get done. A lot of the time with democracies we have at the moment, we have a thing where people talk too much and nothing actually gets resolved or people think they know what they're doing and they have no idea what the hell they're doing at all and that's really aggravating which we found with the economy obviously particularly here in England our politicians say they know what they're doing but they have no bloody idea what they're doing they have no you can tell they have no idea because they're not even uh, it really frustrates me I'm not going to talk about <laughs> uh, Stuart Lord Brown has had some interesting ideas on how to improve the economy adopt his ideas like I say I don't agree with absolute monarchy I'm just saying I can see how it can work if you become an enlightened ruler it can actually work out. My spy master's planning retribution against Lord Ethan for having attempted the assassination. No. We've already, we've already gone through this. I think uh, Prussia, I forgot which king it was. As a king of Prussia is a good example of that. He actually... His father was very greedy. He loved fine clothes and he loved fine feasts. And why he'd spend all of his nation's economy on his own needs. And his son came along and he spent... Ooh. Your sister Lady Sansa has died. For the laws of inheritance, you will receive a family sword. Use it with honour. It shall be done. Ooh, I now have a... We now have Iron Claw. I'm sorry, Long Claw. Why is it Iron Claw? And we have Ice. Ooh. Do you know what? I'm going to give one to my my daughter because I can't really use it. Ah, oh, my other daughter's now old enough. Okay. She didn't turn to, but she got really good diplomacy. Even better than her mother's. Is it don't get me from that conversation, don't get that I don't agree with democracy. I totally agree with democracy. I don't agree with monarchy. I'm just, I'm just talking about that sort of thing. <laughs> okay. He's not really turned up that well skill wise, but. Okay, he's got cruel and he's deceitful. Damn. Okay, well, it didn't turn out so well then. Oh no, he's. He had a son already die. Lady Usilla. He, died, he married a Withers. Okay. Has the bloody flux. No, get away from her. Get away. She's going to kill you. She would inherit otherwise. A foz away. Damn it. We don't want the foz away to inherit. We need you to survive. We need you to have a kid. Come on. Hopefully she dies before she passes it on to him. If that's even how it works. Okay, so we can give ice to some. Oh, I can give ice to a lot of people. So I can give one to my first daughter or my second daughter. Do you know what? I may give one... To Leona because Mora will inherit one anyway. So I'm gonna give I'm gonna let Ice pass along from me to Mora. But we're gonna give Leona Longclaw. So it's all you know, sort of like a separate dynasty. The other part of our dynasty gets that one. My two daughters of Bran. How do I give it to her? Oh yep, intrigue. There we go. Give it to her. And then what was I gonna do? Oh, I need to marry her off. I need to find you a matrilineal. 
oh, we could have married her to the Tully boy, but I want to make sure that if anything happens to Mora and her grandson, that the line is still secure. So we need to marry her to someone normally. I mean, matrilineal, sorry. Okay, who should we marry her to? A Bracken. Bracken might be useful. A Tarth. Okay, Tarth could be very useful. A Belmore. Another Fozaway. <laughs> a bit too young, probably. Kennen, a, a weird Bolton, for some reason. Not sure what's going on there. Ooh, Red Fort. Probably a bit too far off in the inheritance line. Nope, no one particularly interesting, really. No one that really stands out. Okay. Maybe the Bracken might be the best then, because we do get an alliance as well. They are one of our vassals as well. Let's see, is any, any of these top ones actually set to inherit anything? Heir to the Lordship of South Crackle Point. Okay. Briggs could be useful then. Okay. Heir to the Lordship of South Crackle Point. Let's have a look. Let's go check that out. That could be very useful. South Crackle Point. Okay, yep, he's a bit old. He's not going to have any kids, but she's 35. He is 70, though. He's very old, if you ask me. He's very likely to die, actually. She, he's more likely to die than she is, and he can marry. If, he, if she died, obviously, he could marry again. But at her age, I don't see her dying. He's way more likely to die. I think that's quite a good one. Plus, also, I just need a marriage so she can have kids, really. So him or the Bracken. Let's check that Bracken kid out then. Okay, so you are one, two, three. You're third in line. Okay. Nothing particularly interesting. I'd rather go with the Crackle Point one. If I'm going to be perfectly honest. Your father doesn't like me though. It might make him like me more though. Actually, I think maybe I should marry, maybe I should marry the Bracken because the South Crackle Point is not really a big deal. If it was the High Lordship, then definitely. But if it's just actually that, I'd rather marry the Bracken, marry one of our Bannermen. Okay, I'm going to go with the Bracken. But first, I'm going to check and make sure there's no people with particularly good traits maybe I'd really like. Like this Belmore, who was a formidable fighter. Could be very useful, actually. Anyone with actual, like, good trait. <laughs> like strength or genius or attractive or whatnot. I can't particularly see any. Can't see any right there. Um that's Saul. No, nothing there. Nope, none of them have anything. Stewardship. Nope, none of them have anything. Damn. Okay, I mean, this, this Belmore is actually not too bad. He's a formidable fighter. It'd be great to have him in our, in our clique. To the Lordship of Scorch Vale. Okay. So that one, isn't it? Yeah, Scorch Vale. Huh. I think I'm going to marry to one of my Bannermen. Yeah. Where's that damn bracken? I can go back now. Yeah, I want to marry to one of my bannermen because, you know, it seems like a good idea. We've got a lot of good inheritances anyway coming, like obviously the reach and stuff. I'd rather make some of my vassals happy. For, th for the time being, obviously. Okay, how's your wife? Is she pregnant? Okay. Whatever children they have as well are set to inherit her land as well. That's quite useful. Uh, Lady Emperor is asking us to deal with an assassination attempt inside our realm. Okay, Seaguard. Oh, the Bracken. Ooh. Ooh. Um, but I've just married his son to my daughter. That's going to be quite a little problem. And that's your husband. Are you kidding me? Bloody Malister. You're obviously been crazy. 
You've been crazy. Nothing's probably going on there. She probably just doesn't like and wants to get him in trouble. And he is winning that war. That's great. Good going, Harry. Hopefully he can get a bit better. He's only 15. He's got one more year. Okay, he's got a couple of months. <laughs> um, hopefully he can get a little bit better. Hopefully she can get bloody pregnant. Or hopefully he just dies soon so that he can marry someone else. That'd be useful as well. It's too bad the first child wasn't... If that just wasn't a stillborn, that'd have been great. The Stormlands is winning the war, so we could see the Martells taking the Iron Throne from the Good Brothers. And obviously the bad thing about that is that the Iron Isles will be under that as well. And it looks as if, yep, the Martells have taken the Iron Throne. So the Martells may have lost Dawn, but they now have the Iron Throne. Interesting. Aaron Martell. And the interesting about that as well, yeah, he's got he's got the Iron Isles and he's got the Westlands under there as well. Okay, uh, ignore. Let's all rot. Ooh. Well, she's not in a good position. She's in jail and she's blinded and she's a Lannister. She's might not have any... No, she's not going to have any kids. She's 48. Oh, but she did have one child. So Louis is of Ashmark, a U. He's a good fighter. Looks like a U is going to inherit the Westlands. Like I said, though, the Iron Throne is just in complete chaos. The the people that have you know inherited stuff and blah 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 all over the Iron Isle, uh, the Iron Throne. Sorry, have been complete ridiculousness. The new King of the Iron Throne. It's become sort of a joke in a way. The North is the only true kingdom. We've been the only place with real stability, really. <laughs> The Iron Isles did, but now they've just been sucked into the chaos of the Iron Throne. I can ask them to stand down. Oh, he's a genius good brother there. Um, I'll go and claim a white knife to the liege. Come on, win that war. 69%. Oh, okay. He's so close. Damn, she's still not pregnant. Okay, he's got 12 Marshall. That's not too bad. He's done okay. Like someone was telling me, you know, I'm probably just, you know... I'm just so used to the initial Game of Thrones stats that they look amazing. When obviously, as you play more, they go back down to what's sort of normal. Okay, but the guard's caught in time. Okay, using a smuggled rope, Lady Adara of White Harbor almost managed to escape from custody. But the guard's caught her in time. Return her to a... Quarters. Okay. Throw her back in the dungeon. Throw her in the oblit. Let's let's throw her back in the dungeons. I was trying to be nice. I gave her some I gave her some nice, you know, quarters. I was being lenient, I was being nice. And look how she repays me. With treachery and just insults. And my phone's gone off, what is this? Okay, it's just that. Actually, what is the time? That should be fine for a little bit more. Okay, well, I master's plan retribution. Uh, it's better to forgive and forget. My chair's been really wonky today. So if you can hear it, like, wobbling a bit in the background. What are the Beyond the Wall doing? I've not been doing much. Okay. Uh, my liege, I wish to intercede on behalf of one of your prisoners. Lady Danella, the harmless mermaid, surely show a mercy would please all your vassals. Very well. Very well, Tully. Your words, your words of a small child have reminded me of where I come from. You, you spoke to me great. Your words speak to me. We'll set her free. Ah, as long as she's not the bloody Bolton, <laughs> then it's fine. We'll set her free. She has, she now has long claw, so that part, her family that go on from her, will have long claw, and the other family for my other daughter will have a. Uh, she did not get pregnant off uh, Tristan either. There we go. So we're going to marry the Bracken. 